It's Corey, and it is day two of New York Comic Con. I'm here at the Marvel VV booth 2153, and David is here signing some comics. We're going to leave this, and we're going to walk around the convention and see the sights and sounds. Let's go. Day two of Comic Con saw more comics, more collectibles, more cosplay, and more celebration. VB's own Alex Gonzalez graced the Marvel main stage and shared with the crowd the unique opportunities for collecting on VB. Beyond the Marvel VB booth, many of our licensors and friends shared with the world their unique perspectives and art, collectibles, and toys. I'm in front of the Toka Doki booth, and we just had the Toki Mondo release on Vivi. And behind me, there's a certain special someone signing things. Let's go talk to her. I am here in the Tokadoki booth with none other than Simone Leno, who had just had a release go out today, and it sold out instantly. In the next colorway, the gold one, it's releasing tomorrow. We were just curious, what are your thoughts on your physical toys making their way onto Vivi? Uh, first of all, like I think Vivi is the coolest uh, platform out there for uh, crypto. I think it's objective as a you know, I followed a little bit the space and, uh, you know, like I always believed in digital. I mean, like my story started as a Flash animator and Tokido, you started as a Flash website. And actually, the first time I ever came uh, uh, to New York was for the Flash Film Festival. It was like a digital award. And uh, so I always believed that, uh, you know, art can be uh, in any form, it can be physical, can be digital. It's just about, I think, collecting. It's about like finding that uh, sacred, uh, unique piece and uh, just watch it and share it with your friends and uh, some people like you know just to yeah just uh, even uh, like exchange it or resell it and it's th that's the nature of collecting and i'm a old school collector of anything i got like vintage japanese robots and uh, all my life and uh, so i understand the mentality so why not digital and i think that's the beauty of what you do is you have not just your grounding in art but in collecting and it really comes through your work and i know all of us here on vv Love it. Thank you so much for Thanks. talking with us and to swing by the Tokidoki booth. I'm at the Toy Tokyo booth with none other than the legendary Ron English. And Ron, you're a comic. Big top propaganda. It's rounding out our Comic-Con line of releases. Talk to us about it for a minute. Yes, um, this Sunday we dropped Big Top Propaganda, my first comic book with Vivi, my first digital comic book ever. Um, it is the origin story of Delusionville, Area 54, and the Secret Circus. You will come to understand what all these things are later as we build the VV verse. But this will enable you to understand the origin stories so you'll understand everything on a deeper level as we go forward into the meta future. The meta future. You heard it here first. Ron, thank you so much for your time. Good luck with the upcoming release. I'm really excited for everyone else to get to read this comic. Oh, thank you so much. And that was day two of New York Comic Con. Stay tuned to our socials for day three.